You're so concentrated that the world disappears. We propel ourselves to about 25 or 30 meters deep, and from there on, by negative floatability, as your lungs become compressed, we let ourselves fall. We don't free fall down. The feeling's a bit like flying. And all this connected to the surface by a rope. In some way, you're still in contact with life, but in another world. It's a difficult feeling to explain because there's a real mix of different emotions, excitement, fear, insecurity. In the entire history of humanity, only six people have been able to descend in the sea beyond 120 meters in depth on a single breath. The Catalan Miguel Lozano, one of the world's greatest freedivers, is one of them. Freediving isn't a very well-known sport, it's quite minority. It's slowly getting bigger. More and more people are becoming interested and understand the sport better. In my case, I've been doing it for years, training, competing and travelling all over the world. And I've been able to have a kind of natural progression, dedicating myself exclusively to this to prepare myself psychologically, physiologically and technically to be able to descend to such depths. I've made two attempts at the world record, the first in 2012 and again this year in March in Bali, descending 122 metres. It didn't come off on either occasion. I went down, but at the top, the correct protocol wasn't followed. The idea is to beat the world record, isn't it? It would be to descend 125, but at the same time, without putting pressure on myself. I would like to go to a place where I can train, where I have friends, where I can spend a few months training at my own pace and see how I feel, how my body adapts, how my mind is. A world record attempt that will have to wait until winter when the season begins. Now Miguel dedicates this time of year to teaching. And La Liga World has accompanied him in one of his courses where he works as an instructor. And after discovering the exciting day-to-day -day of Miguel Lozano, let's also talk a bit about football. I'm not really a big football fan. I like it. There was a time, I suppose, like everybody with Guardiola Mourinho, when there was so much animosity that it seemed you were living the day-to-day -day life of Barca Madrid. Also, Barca were playing really well, and they continue to do so. I still like them. But I try to watch when I can, above all Barcelona. I'm a Barcelona supporter. I like to follow them. And who from the present Barcelona team would Miguel take on one of his immersions to the depths of the sea? Maybe off the top of my head, I'd say Piquet, because he seems to be a guy with an inquisitive mind who'd like to try new things. It could be a good experience for him. But I imagine that any one of the team could do it, and they would be keen to do it. And there are many aspects that are employed in apnea that could be of great use to other elite sports like football, as can be seen by the fact that Miguel has already worked with some players and former players of Real Madrid, like Dani Carvajal or José Rodríguez. There are many facets to apnea. It's an excellent vehicle for emotional control, for relaxation, for stressed out people so they can release all that tension. And also for emotional control in stressful situations. It helps them. On a sports level with tennis players, basketball players or footballers, the breathing is very important because breathing has been overlooked in elite sport. It's the fuel which improves your performance, and it's not worked on in practically any sport. So we're trying to offer our help to these sportsmen so they can improve their performance. Miguel Lozano will continue to explore new terrains and to work on making apnea more well-known, a passion which he enjoys while at the same time pushing himself to the limit one of the great Spanish sportsmen of today.